Question, where are we? 39. Which of the following statements about fixed length and variable length instruction set architectures are true? And we have uh, one, variable length instruction set architectures allow for smaller code size. Two, fixed length instruction set architectures simplify instruction fetch and decode. And three, variable length instruction set architectures require more registers than fixed ones. Well, <clears throat> this goes back to the uh, CISC versus RISC debate. In the old days, complex instruction set architectures uh, were required because the space required to contain the instructions was the most important thing to worry about, or one of the important things to worry about. So they had a variable length um, uh, ISAs, and uh, that enabled them to, to save space. As time progressed, space be didn't become an issue, and so speed was more of an issue. And so they had they simplified the way that they, they had a standard length for all these uh, instructions. So it's, and they reduced the, the number of instructions. So anyway, that CISC versus RISC. Basically, the bottom line is yes. Number one is yes. Variable uh, uh, length uh, ISAs do allow for smaller code size because you can you can uh, work with the space. Uh, that you have available, uh, you can reduce the code size quite a bit. That was the purpose of variable length. Fixed length ISAs, yes, they simplify the fetch operation. That's what makes things go faster in the CPU, right? All those little, little uh, steps can be done faster, so sure. Number two is true also. Three says variable length ISAs require more registers. No, it's just the opposite. Fixed the fixed uh, uh, length ISAs require more registers typically. So um, you have more space with fixed, at least the assumption is you do, and so uh, this, is the op this, is the, this is not the case. So the answer basically is C, 1 and 2. And to get a deeper understanding of this, you may want to read up on uh, complex and reduced uh, instruction set. Um, systems, computers, risk versus CISC.